Hello and welcome to another Void XRC video. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm just going to show you how I waterproof servos. This is the size of servo I'll be doing today. Specifically, it will fit in the fire you here. So let's just get started. Obviously, you're going to need a servo and a screwdriver to open it, and marine grease, and liquid electrical tape. Well, let's just get started. So, first off, we're just going to take the screws out. Okay, so now that we've got the screws out, we can take the top cover off for the gear case. So here's where we're going to use the marine grease. Let's get some out of here. So you you're going to want to get the most amount of grease around the servo horn, but you don't want to put too much grease because it will end up uh, clogging the system up and won't work properly. So this is the most important part here, just getting this nice and covered with grease. But remember, not too much. You're going to want to add a little bit more grease to some of the other pieces too. This is the main the most important part for keeping any water from coming in through that little hole and getting into the gear case area. So once you got that nicely covered up, we can put the um, top piece back on. So now I'm going to take the bottom cover off. Here's where we're going to use the liquid electrical tape. Uh, I've, some people like to use a silicon here and they like to just fill up the inside here with just silicon, everything. That works good too. Um, I just use liquid, this, let's try that again, liquid electrical tape. This is what I have and it's easy to get. So you want to just make sure you stir it good before you use it. And we're just going to cover the circuit board on both sides as much as possible and the electrical tape. Uh, it's very messy and it drips easy so be careful with that as I just got a bunch on my table and a bunch more. It's going to be a little bit hard with these smaller servos to get in everything properly 100% covered so you just got to take your time and really make sure you, you work the electrical tape into the little cracks and whatnot. So if you end up with a really thick layer like I have here, it'll take quite a while to dry. So what we'll, you want to do is let it dry before you do anything else. Or mostly dry. And make, make sure you, it still fits back in the little spot, spot quite well. Like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to close it up now. And before we tighten the screws all the way, I'm going to add a little bit more of this electrical tape just around the screw, just like this. And we'll just do the screw up look normal. You can see it's all nice and covered on that one screw I just did. So we'll just do, we'll just do those for the rest of the screws too.
All right. So now that we have all the screws in and whatnot, the best thing to do is let this dry because what we're going to want to do is let it dry completely and there's probably going to be a little bit of greasy crap all over the outside from when you're doing the top. We're going to want to clean as much of this grease off the outside as we can get. After like It'll just be easier once it's all dried because we're also going to want to tape off a few things. So while this servo here dries, I'm just going to show the last step with this other servo here. So what I do here is I just get a little bit of masking tape. And I just want I just like to mask off a couple things. I'll show you here. First thing I do is I just put a little bit around the mounting brackets just because it's nice to have them clear for when you're mounting it. It's just much easier obviously. Just tape those off, and then the other piece we want to tape off is servo horn because we don't want to be electrical taping that all up. So that's, that's about all I do for taping off. Then back to the liquid liquid. You know, I can't say this at all. Liquid electrical tape. And here is where I cover all the the two seams, the top seam and the bottom seam, and I cover the whole um, wire piece here. So then you can just take the electrical tape here and just start spreading it on. That definitely doesn't look the best with just you know this black crap spread all over it, but it, it works. So yeah, you just want to cover the whole thing wherever there's a seam or any sort of crack like that. Just cover it all in the liquid electrical tape. We'll just cover the bottom of this one anyways here too. Come here. So there we go. That's how I like to waterproof my servos. As you can see, it's got a nice coat on the outside. Should keep all should keep all the water out. But we do have all the electronics on the inside coated too, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.